Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater, coming to you from the Eventide booth here at AES 2023. We're at the Javits Center in New York City with our new friend, Nick Hill. Great to see you. Howdy. Pleasure. Pleasure, yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm Nick Hill. I'm a senior DSP engineer here at Eventide, and we are very excited to announce two brand new products, Black Hole Immersive and Micro Pitch Immersive. So these have been redesigned from the ground up to incorporate the workflows for Dolby Atmos, although they're still compatible with 5.1 and 7.1 film television mixing workflows. Any, but they're truly designed as Dolby Atmos bed plugins. Anything from LCR up to at launch, we have 714 supported with 916 support coming in the pipeline as well for full Atmos mixes. Right. And so we work very hard to make sure that we still have that classic Eventide sound that you know and love. Uh, those big, big reverbs from Black Hole and that huge detuning sound that just gives you more, wider, deeper, just more immersed in more dimensions now than ever before. And we're very, very excited. Wow, that's it's, super cool. Yes. So I'm trying to imagine, right, I've, I've used both the Black Hole and, and, and uh, uh, Micro Pitch before, plugins as well as the pedals. Yes. And, uh, Trying to picture what that has to be like to try to re-envision that in a, yes. in a immersive kind of a kind of a thing. Yes. Yeah, so let's start with black hole immersive. So a good way of thinking about it is you have black hole all around you, all around your head, and based on where you're panning into the reverb, you know you have you can have a reverberation in sort of unique spaces around the head. And what's really powerful about these plugins is you can actually have a different space in the front versus in the rear. So you can have a really, really big reverb out front, that huge black hole ambience, you know, that, that classic modulated reverb tail. Then you can have a really small, short ambience behind you. And based on where you're panning into the plugin, or even if you have multiple sends going to Black Hole Immersive, you can have radically different sounds. But that's not all. We also added a brand new crossfeed knob, which controls dynamically how reactive the reverb is. So you can control how isolated or how immersed the reverb is. And it's got all these reverbs can talk to each other or not talk to each other based on needs. There are three band EQs for three different regions of the immersive array. The front, the rear, or the overheads. You can EQ entirely independently. Wow. So, yes. Wow, that's, yeah. that's crazy. Yes. And then what about micro pitch? Because I think of that as detuning the two sides of a stereo, exactly. stereo field. How does that work in yes. the immersive? So, you know, where at Eventide we tend to be math geeks, and so our first thought about trying to put it in immersive was, well, we're all used to drawing coordinate bases. Let's do X, Y, and Z. So you have left-right detuning where you can go plus or minus. You have front-rear detuning where you can go plus or minus. And then you also have overhead and mains for, 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 for top and, and mains. And not just that, but you can also tilt those as well in any given direction. And then there's through zero modulation with the modulation section. There's the same feedback and crossfeed system. But what's really cool is there's also a delay engine inside of Micro Pitch Immersive. So it's an Atmos capable delay section and you can get those feedback delay effects from subtle and you know bringing out the, 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 the depth and the mix uh, 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 and the width of your mix from the, that subtle, you know, the, the smaller, you know, chorus flangey size delays all the way up to two seconds of delay. You can really crank it, but there's also more to that as well. So on top of all this detuning and the tilting and the cross feeding and the feedback, you can actually control what direction they're feeding back around your head. So you have a sound that starts in the middle, you can have it continue feeding back to the center, or you can have it rotate left or right around your head. So you start getting all sorts of crazy effects. It's not just a detuning algorithm. We call it immersive spatial sauce because it's that little thing you sprinkle into your mix that just makes everything pop and really, really stand out. There's an early reflection class of, of, of sounds. There's flanging, there's detuning. It's, it's more of everything. Wow. So, yeah. Oh wait, there's more. Always, <laughs> yes. Always. Yeah. Fantastic. The possibilities are so exciting. So congratulations, man. That, yeah. that had to be a fun project. Thank you. It's yeah. going to be fun to hear what you can do with them. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the big thing. So when I first heard Micro Pitch Immersive's demo, I, I, I built it on my machine, the prototype, and I hit the space bar and I jumped three feet in the air because it sounds unlike anything I've heard. <laughs> but what's most exciting for me is to hear what other people start doing with this, you know? Because every time, you know, as, as an algorithm designer, I have one way of thinking about these plugins. But every time I give to somebody new, they show me something that I didn't know about the plugin. And right. so that's the most exciting part to me is just seeing how different people are thinking about this space and creating sounds I've never heard before. Very so, cool. Yes. Very cool. Well, man, thank you so much for, for giving us the overview on these. I can't wait to check them out. Of course, yeah. It's going to be me, fun. Let me know what you think. I will. All right. Jeez. And thank you for joining us at the Eventide booth. We're at AES 2023 in New York City. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater.